Okay, so I've gone in and messed with the tail a little bit more. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done to clean it up, but you do get a basic idea of how the overlap uh, and follow through on the tail uh, really adds a nice loose feel, kind of an organic um, follow through and secondary action to uh, the body. Um, if you compare this video here with a nice loose fluffy tail to the original one where it was body only, so there's uh, no mouth, no ears, and no tail. Um, you get the basic idea, so the blocking, the intent of how he moves and how fast he does it and the arc that he takes. All of the basic kind of big stuff that you need to get in first is there. And then everything else that's added on top with all those extra controls really just adds a nice uh, kind of refined looseness uh, to the, the jump, the same basic motion. So uh, hopefully it's been helpful for you guys. The uh, rig is really fun. I recommend everybody grabbing him. Uh, and I really can't wait to see what everybody does with him. Like I said, there's so many different ways uh, to shape and pose him uh, and so many different simple uh, emotions uh, and attitudes that you can give him through shape uh, and timing and overlap. Uh, it really be, really will be fun to see what everybody does with this guy. So uh, pick him up, see what you guys can do with him, and I will talk to you later. Thanks.